We're gonna be building this Trilobot here shortly on Maker Hacks, but first thing that we're gonna to need to be able to do is to make these wheels, and they're just pennies a piece. Stay tuned, and we're gonna show you how. What are you gonna need for this build? Well, um, first of all, you're gonna need some decal sheet. This, uh, here, uh, that, here we go. What we got here, true block white mailing labels. It's just uh, a single sheet of eight and a half by 11. And uh, yeah, the de they're pretty cool decals. They, you cut a circle and you're all good. Next thing you're gonna need is the six millimeter craft foam. You generally get this at Michael's or at whatever craft store you want. You'll probably be able to find it on Amazon quite easily. You get different colors. I've got white and stuff. Um, now you're gonna need some rivets. These are from your hardware store. The rivets, like, you know, what else do you need to really say? Uh, you choose different sizes. I got ones where the axle is fairly large. I don't know exactly how big it is. It looks like it's about three millimeters thick. I also found um, at one hardware store where it had these really huge flange rivets and these help keep the wheel square, but again, they're not necessary. So you know, get what you can and um, well, let's carry on with the build here. Here's a quick animation of how this thing goes together. Basically you have two white pieces of deco material that you can buy at Staples and you have a six millimeter EVA foam and two rivets. One rivet with the mandrel taken out of it or that little nail thing there. First thing we gotta do is on two of the rivets, we need to break the rivet right off the mandrel and it's just a quick little tap with the gripping it with the pliers. Don't grip too tight, just enough to hold on to the rivet and pop it out of there. Now this will be the axle for your wheels and the other rivets will be the pieces that get hooked into the actual robot. And the first rivet that we just broke off will be the one that spins on that little axle. Take your six millimeter EVA foam and cut, in this case, it's a three inch diameter wheel. So we just cut in a, a three inch diameter hole out of the foam and we're gonna use the hole itself as the wheel. We're gonna cut a couple of these guys out. I realize that not everybody's gonna have a compass cutter. So you use your utility knife, grab yourself a tin can that's the right size, place it down, cut around the outside. That works fairly well. This brings up an interesting issue though. How do I find the center of this circle? It's actually quite easy. We're gonna need something to mark it with, pencil or pen. Then what you do is you take a sheet of paper. Any sheet of paper will do, um, and make it so that it's just slightly larger than the wheel that you currently have. What you do then is you fold it in half like this so that you have a nice line right there. And make sure you mark these two parts of the line fairly dark. The next thing that you need to do is take your wheel and place it so it's right along this edge here and this edge here. Lie it down and right where that line hits, you wanna make two marks. One mark for where it ends and one mark for where it stops. Rotate the wheel any amount that you want not that important and again mark that line mark that line here's where the magic happens take this here draw an intersection line there from those two points draw an intersection line from these two points and there you have it there is dead center of your wheel what we're doing here is we're cutting out slightly smaller diameter discs of the deco material that we're gonna use for the wheels. We're gonna need two for each wheel. Now place the rivet into the EVA foam and that way we have something that we can center the deco material on. Place the decal material on both sides of the wheel using the rivet as a centering point and you will see that it becomes very stiff and makes a very good wheel. 
Last thing that we're going to do is we're going to take the rivet that we broke off of the first rivet at the very beginning and we're going to slide it onto the foam and you'll notice that it can sit on the axle and everything's good. Feel free to glue those in if you really need to. So we just finished showing you how to make this little guy here. Let's show you how to make one to attach to a servo. There's going to be two different types. One where it's a double wheel and one where it's a single wheel. Let's go through pretty much the exact same order of making things from the last wheel. Except this time, what we're going to do is we're going to cut one of the white decal stickers with a big hole in the center to make sure that we can get around the servo horn on the wheel. And once you have that label cut, now we have to glue the servo horn down to the EVA foam and apply the deco with the larger circle on it on top of or around the servo horn. Last thing you gotta do is attach that to the servo and you've got a really good wheel for driving around with your robot. This last wheel, we're gonna do exactly the same as before but this time we're gonna cut a second wheel piece for the tread. We're gonna double up this wheel so we get a little more traction. So we have to make a hole for the clearance on the servo horn. We're gonna glue that to the EVA foam that we already have or the EVA wheel we already have. Then we're gonna attach another piece of the deco material over top of that freshly cut piece. This will give you a nice stiff wheel that's really wide and gives you a reasonable amount of traction for your watt projects. There you go, how to make free spinning wheels and wheels that attach to your servos for pennies a piece. If you like this video, please like it below. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and also make sure to look us up on Facebook. We've got a really good community building up on there. Talk to you guys in a little bit.